we, we tend to forget that whenever we feel that whenever we feel we learn to time to and that's why we succeed. Because of those experiences before, and because of the culture outside in your environment, because of your programming, we tend to not understand that the failure and success is not two different things. What we know and what we understand is that failure and success is separate things. And but the reality of success is that failure and success is twin brothers and twin sisters. Uh -huh. If this is failure and this is success, you cannot go towards your destination without you failing and succeeding. You cannot just walk by all success, correct, 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 and yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine walking one one feet? Success, success, success. It's impossible. The no, the rejections is part of it. If you do not want to business, rejection, the job of the team, the job of the team, the because whenever you because whenever you feel you succeed. Whenever you feel, you learn. And without you knowing it, you are arriving to your destinations. The problem of most people is the fear. The wrong programming. Because, because, because you are too afraid to you. Because you are too afraid to fail. You tend not to move. You tend not to try. You tend to stay where you are. You tend to leave on your comfort zone. And that's why most of the people are getting poorer and poorer. And that is why you are expecting a different life. But your life is still the same. Because you are so afraid to be. You are so afraid to be rejected. You are too afraid to be criticized. Let me make you understand. In this business, rejection, failure, pain, you don't need to avoid them. The fact, the truth is, failure, challenges, rejection, you need to seek for it. You need to look for more. You need to look for more. Because the more rejection you get, the more pain you receive, the more you learn and the more you grow. Hello? Just last two days, me with Sir Jurgen and Sir Francis, and, and, Sir, and Sir John, Excitement. Went to the gym. You know what the gym is? When you tend to build your muscles. 
There's a very beautiful gym. So every morning we go to the gym. Where are the people here who goes to the gym? Who do treadmill and work out? You know, you know when you when you go, you do gym. You know, I tell you now. You know when you work out. When you try to build your muscle, you know what usually happens? When it's not painful, it's not working. When it's painful, like right now my shoulder is so painful. When it's painful, you know it's working. Because what usually happens to your muscle is this. When you try to carry a heavy lift, when you try to run an exercise, your muscle fibers tear up. It will tear up. It will have a small, small wounds inside. And as it tear up, as it will accumulate. As it will accumulate. And that is why it's so painful. But you know what God's blessing to us is? Again, let me repeat, you know what God's blessing to us is? Ask me what? God designed our body to adapt fast. God designed human beings, each and every one of you, each and every one of us, to adapt very fast. We have the power to adapt. So when your muscles adapt, and because of the proteins in your body, the muscles get together and grow bigger and bigger. And from those pain, you will know that you are succeeding. The same in this business. Whenever you feel pain, whenever you feel rejection, you know that's a sign. You know that's a symptom that you are getting better and better and better and better and better in your business. Are you learning? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, what you need to do is to conquer your fear. Like what Tony Robbins says, the secret of success is learning how to use pain and pleasure. Instead of having pain and pleasure use you. If you do that, you're in control of your life. If you don't, life controls you. Remember, in your life, remember in life, 90% of is what happens to you. 90% are the situations that happen in you. And 10%. Hello? Again, I'm sorry. In life, 10% is what happens to you. Are you learning? 
10% is what's happening to your life. And 90% how you respond to it. Remember the training yesterday? Remember the training yesterday? Don't react. What you do, you respond. And remember how you must learn to respond? What is the word you remember for you to master how to respond? If somebody poke you, what you do? Pray. When somebody say no, what you do? Pray. When somebody rejects you, what you do? Pray. When somebody wants to quarrel to you, what you do? Pray. When some when somebody, something bad happens to you, what you do? Pray. You pause. You resist the temptation to react. You ask God and you heal and you follow. Yes. You pray. Hello. <laughs> Now look at this. Let me give you a principle. Can you please say principle? principle. You can have a principle so whenever you feel rejected, you always remember this principle. In network marketing, we call this the SW3 principle. What, what is SW3 principle? And some will join you. Some will join you. So what? Move to the next. Again, the SW3 principle. You need to accept the fact that some will join you. Some will not. So what? Move. Move to the next. Have you ever seen a vendor in Africa? You know, in Tanzania, in Nigeria, in different countries, there are a lot of street vendors. You know, one thing that I notice in Rwanda, let me tell you the truth. One thing that I notice in Rwanda, because I've been traveling in different African countries, to train and create millionaires. But what I, I saw in Rwanda, Rwanda is one of the countries in Africa that I experienced and I saw. One of the most cleanest and most nicest. <laughs> <laughs> it's very clean. You can see securities everywhere. In fact, I haven't seen any street vendor for a while. Maybe, but maybe on the other outside the cities there is. There is not. So, so meaning, so meaning you don't know what street vendor are. But in Africa there are a lot of them. They are selling waters and different goods in the state. Even in the Philippines, in our country, we have some different vendors. Most of them are in motorcycle or in bicycle. 
and one of the most unique vendors that we have in the Philippines is the Balot vendor. Can you please say Balot? Now, what is Balot? Just for you to know. Now, for you to prepare yourself for in the Philippines. Do you want to go to the Philippines? Can I see the hands of the people who want to experience Philippines? How about the Philippines? Philippines for free. Let us hear your hand. I don't know. Uh, uh, now, in the Philippines, we have this very unique food called balot. It's an egg. It's an egg. But the chick inside. It's I think seven to eight years old already. Uh, sorry, seven to eight days old already. Seven to eight days old already. Already. Yeah. I'm gonna say the baby missing. He didn't feel it. Meaning the small chick inside. I'm gonna put the baby. It's a chicken leg. Now, the chick inside has a small beak already. And have small, small hair already. And most of the Filipinos, they eat it full. It's, it's one of the most uh, unique food in the Philippines. You know, in every country there are exotic food. So for us, that is Palo. Yeah. Now, in the Philippines, there are They put it in the basket to maintain its hotness. To maintain the heat and And they start walking from afternoon to, from afternoon to evening. They will go to villages and houses. They will go to different streets and roads. And they will be shouting, Balot! 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 They will be shouting and shouting. Now, there will be a lot of people that will be hearing this shout. Some people are inside their houses. They will hear the shout below. Some are in the offices. Some are inside the bar. Some are walking in the street. All of them heard the shout Balot. Balot, Balot, Agashqui, Agashqui. But even all of them heard the shout of Balot. Now all of them approached and asked for the price. Some will, some will approach and ask for the price. But still they will not buy. So the same with the Balot vendor. Same with them. Some will buy. Some will not buy. But the Balot vendor says, So what? His job 
is just a shout and shout. And share to everybody. And by the end of the day, he finished all the balot in his basket. He don't care if people will hear or not buy. He don't, he don't need everybody to buy. His job is very clear. Just shout and shout, Ladies and gentlemen, it's the same in your business. You don't care if people will not join. You don't care if people will reject you and say no to you. But be clear about your work. And that is to share, inspire, and inform. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. But don't, please, please, don't go outside. Maybe some of you will go outside in the street shouting, in global, in global, in global. Please don't do that. Your job is to share to your people about the wonderful opportunity of the hope. So remember the SW3 principle. Now another factor for you to become successful for you to keep yourself and your people moving about the business is you need to find your deepest why. You need to find your deepest reason why you are doing it. Because if your reason in this business is just to create money, if your reason here is just to become rich, if your reason here is just to revenge for the people who rejects you, then it will be very hard for you to become successful. Because when problems and challenges come, you tend to quit the business. Remember, even you know how to do the business. Even you are the best speaker. Even you are the best seller. Even you are the best inviter. If you don't know why you are doing it, it's all useless. Remember, why you do what you do is always more important than how you do it. The reason and the motive is always more important. That's why if you can remember my story to you on the first day, the story about the fox and the rabbit. That just for the people who didn't attend it on the first day. Let me repeat you the story. So one day in the forest of Rwanda. One day in the forest of Rwanda. There was a group. There was a group of fox. There were a group of fox talking to each other. <laughs> and they saw a fat big rabbit in the forest. <laughs> then the small foxes told to the bigger fox. 
The small fox has told to the bigger fox. Because you are the biggest, the strongest, and the fastest. Go and run and catch the rabbit for our lunch. So the big fox said, of course I will do that. It's very easy. That rabbit was slow and fast. I will catch the rabbit for us to have lunch. So the fox started running. Then the, then the rabbit saw the fox running towards him. With the fox outside ready to eat him. If you are the rabbit, what will you do? So the rabbit did run past. He ran as if it's the last day of his life. And after two and a half hours, the big fox went back to his team. Very tired. Very tired. And very sad. Then the small foxes asked him, Did you catch the rabbit? The, the big fox said, I failed to catch the rabbit. The small foxes laughed at him. They, they told him, Come on, you're very strong and fast. And you didn't catch, you failed to catch the fat, slow rabbit. They laugh and laugh and mock the, bug, the big fox. And you know what the big fox said? Ask Noah. The big fox said, I failed to catch the rabbit. Not because he's fat and slow and I'm fast and strong. I failed to catch the rabbit because of our reason why we are running. Because for me, I'm running just for my lunch. But that rabbit, he was running for his life. Ladies and gentlemen, in this business, problems and pains will happen. And for you to stand strong in your business, you need to ask yourself and think about it in your house. Why you are doing in global? By running in in global, who are you in this business? Are you the fox that is running for your lunch? Or are you the rabbit who is running for your life in the night of your life? Let me ask you again, are you the fox or the rabbit? Rabbit. You need to know your deepest why you are doing the business. With that, it's very, 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 very simple to become successful. Now look at the concept of the business. In a global business, you can actually become your own boss. Because the business of Inglobal is designed by having Inglobal answering the platform. We have the system. If the system we register the product. Now instead of you having your own business and looking for your own product. You can buy the products of A Global wholesale and do the business of the big company. You have your own business in Alliance and Washington Global. 
That's why, that's why we call you as independent distributors. You own your own business. You are your own boss. In England, you can apply the law of leverage. You know, you know, you know the word leverage. Can you please say leverage? Can everybody say leverage? Everybody say leverage. The word leverage.